I really didn't realize that the Starbucks, it doesn't have a charger outside. So when I came here, I thought I had a charger outside. So I was thinking, it's great. I'm gonna sit out here, I'm gonna edit some videos, get some work done, you know, get it all figured out. Luckily, I had my computer charged most of the way, but I wasn't able to finish editing. There's no charger outside. And on top of that, until like 10 minutes ago, it was like 40 degrees outside. I was freezing, but I got a little bit of work done. So I guess that's good. I have the computer charging inside the Jeep right now, but I'm a little too lazy to just let it sit there and finish editing. I don't really know. I don't really have an exact plan for right now, but I really want to go see my grandma. She lives about 30 minutes away from here after her husband passed away, my grandpa. Um, she's living with my cousin and his family, the different cousin, not the one where I left the Jeep at, but she's living with them. Um, it's her daughter and I would try to explain the family tree, but it's really complicated. So let's just say she's living with her daughter and um, I really wanna go see her. She's the one who knows everything about cast irons and other stuff. She's actually full-blooded Cherokee, so. So I really want to go see her before I leave since I'm in the area. And then from there, I'm going to try to get things set up. I really want to do a meetup with you guys now that I'm back with the Jeep. Originally, I was going to try to meet up with Bruce and Big Ben, but he was down there while I was in Florida. So that didn't really work out. Um, I haven't updated him on where I'm at. So I really don't know where he's at at the moment. There's not really anything in this area of Dallas. So Larry and Bruce, both the both think that we're probably better off going somewhere in Oklahoma if I can just schedule a good time. So the meetup might actually be in Oklahoma with my Texas friends. To anybody who's interested, let me know. You can either email me or it's probably easier if you just DM me on Instagram or even just comment down below. If you're in that area and you're interested, I'll keep you posted. It's probably going to be somewhere in that area. A lot of stuff happened before I left on the trip to Florida and I've been waiting to update you guys because I'm really excited about that. Specifically what's in this box. It arrived right before I left. I picked it up on my way down here. And uh, after I went to Florida, I figured I'd just wait until I got back to the Jeep to update you guys. So I wanna show you what's in this box because I haven't even opened it yet. And also I, I left my knife in the Jeep, so. Look at it, look at it for a second and just soak it all in. I love it, oh, box is getting away. Put this back in the box to keep it safe before I drop it. That's not the only thing either. Some of you might have seen this because I technically wore it while I was in Florida, but so few of you actually watched my Florida video so you might not know, but. Look at it. So there's this. I have this now, super excited about it. Huge shout out to Bruce Jividen for designing my logo. But also, um, please don't ask Bruce Jividen to make you a logo. <laughs> so I found out later on that a lot of people saw my logo and I guess they really liked it. Cause ever since I shouted him out, he's had a lot of people reach out to him and ask if they can make him logos. And I kind of feel bad cause I just really wanted to give him credit where credit was due but Bruce isn't a graphic designer. He just kind of does Adobe stuff. I knew what I wanted. I just didn't know how to put it on a logo. And so I asked Bruce if he could help me cause I'm really like stupid when it comes to anything Photoshop related. I reached out to Bruce and I was like, hey, I really want to make a logo. This is what I want it to look like. I just don't know how to do that. Can you help me? And I was originally just trying to get him to like help me just a little bit, but he basically designed the whole logo. I just said that I want it to look like Colorado. And since I wasn't able to get a picture in Colorado, can you just make it look like Colorado the best you can? I want to call it, I want it to look like Colorado. I either want a sunset or a night sky. And he actually ended up doing both for me. So I have a sunset image and a night sky image. Both are perfect. And you can buy these in the link in the description, or actually I'm going to put the link like right here. If you click that, you can see the merch. You can buy the mug, the t-shirt. I have stickers and a bunch of other stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, Bruce is not a graphic designer. So if any of you contact him, I mean, he's a nice guy, but uh, he, he, he really would, it's probably better if you actually just pay a graphic designer. Cause yeah. But uh, unless Bruce wants to start 
a graphic designing business though, and then I'll I'll change I'll let you guys know if he changes his mind. But for now, yeah, I'm gonna go put these away. I want them to be safe and perfect in a safe and perfect place. Made a new friend. It's a nice looking uh, DJ right here. I need to get me some of these actually. I'm gonna end up busting a light out. Or actually, maybe not. I've been abnormally lazy with the Jeep ever since I started this road trip. I've needed to do a tire rotation ever since I left on the trip. The last time I did a tire rotation was when I swapped out the automatic transmission to the standard. I really needed a tire rotation. I've been holding it off for way too long. There was a discount tire right across the street. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk in. Actually, the guy who helped me out is actually the owner of this Jeep right here. We talked about Jeep stuff, so that was cool. He's gonna get me helped out. And because he's another Jeep guy, he knows what's up. And so they're gonna do the full five tire rotation. So I just pulled the trash drawer off. They're gonna rotate the tires. They're gonna put that tire on, you know, do it all, do it right, do it the right way. So really appreciate that because I was just going to, you know, be even more lazy and just not care that they were just gonna do the four tires. People sometimes ask me how do I know that my Jeep is a girl and there's lots of reasons for it honestly I mean I've checked multiple times and she's definitely a girl you just all you have to do is look underneath them it's just like a dog or a cat you know you just have to look it up to tell I already knew she was a girl when I bought her because she just has all these problems especially just not that long ago it was you know the time of the month and um, she was being a pain in the butt and it wasn't until recently that I changed her spark plugs and she was finally happy. It took a lot of time, honestly, you know, having to comfort her. At one point I just got fed up, that's why I went to Florida because I was fed up with dealing with her. But I came back, changed her spark plugs, but she was, you know, having cravings and all that, so now I'm having to fill her up. I need to go get my eggs and then from there I'm probably gonna just head to Mesquite, Texas. I'm gonna go see my grandma and that's pretty much the plan for today. Oh, she's done. Okay. Let's say hey to grandma! Just made what is this percolator coffee? Yes, sir. yes that's percolator coffee. I've never perks I've, up. That's percolator. Never made percolator coffee before. So. Well, you have now. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. And I say apparently it's very easy to mess up, but uh, I think we did a good job. I don't know if that coffee is even still good. It's like a week old, and coffee doesn't last very long. So. So what? It's a week. Well, it doesn't have a strong of a fruity flavor, mm -hmm. so. Oh, is it supposed to have a fruity flavor? Well, yeah, expensive coffees because it's actually a fruit.